I don't wanna live my life like an Instagram post. A lot of people spending hours taking time editing those. Not worry about your life. Hello everyone and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Justine and this is Curls and Cocktails. Today I just wanted to start off with showing you guys my finished bar cart. Let me bring you a little closer so you can see. So as you can see, here is my finished bar cart. Here's the top, and this is the bottom. We have some shot glasses set up on this cute little glass tray, a wine stopper, a shaker. I have coasters that go in the middle there, but I don't have them right now because I left them in Florida. My parents are bringing them back. Um, I have my pineapple cups. We have these cards will get you drunk and then quiz mats that are coasters as well as cute little quiz questions. I sanded the whole thing down and painted it white and then I put these um, peel and stick black marble pasties on there. So that's cool. Down here we have all the essentials. Um, we got some, some lover boys in the back there. Just some straws, metal straws, my drinking cup, which is my cactus cup, high noons, um, tonic water, and one Bud Light Lime, really weird. And then my assorted alcohols, and there's wine, and a koozie back there as well. So there you have it. That is my finished bar cart. I love her. I'm so obsessed. And I can't wait to make so many more videos on that one. But today we're just going to be making the... Mar I don't even know what we're making today, so just stay tuned. Okay, hello everyone, I am back. I am here with the whole setup. So today we are making a, I'm gonna take a look because this is a made up drink, I make this up. Two of my friends sent me two different drinks. Okay, let me go back. So today we're making a drink for Cinco de Mayo because that's in two weeks. And I was gonna wait and do it in two weeks but then I'd be posting on a Thursday as I always do. So that would be the day after Cinco de Mayo and then we'd be late. So we're gonna make our Cinco de Mayo drink today. And we are making one of two of my friends sent me two different drinks, but they were both kind of similar. So one is a beer arita, which is like I guess a margarita but with beer. And then one is a easy lime chilada, which is a Mexican beer cocktail. So essentially they're the same thing. So what you will need will be tequila. We have one ounce of that, one tablespoon of lime juice and two ounces of lime aid and then it said a mexican beer like dos equis or corona but i didn't have either of those i have bud light lime which i think is kind of similar definitely isn't but we're gonna make it with this today and hope it tastes good then in our glass we have half a cup of ice and i lined the rim with coarse salt and a little chili powder as i said in my last video i do not like spice so i don't know how i'm gonna feel about this but I feel like it made it festive, so we did that. It's very cute, I'll say that much. It's definitely festive. So, into our shaker, we are going to pour lime juice, tequila, and lime aid. We're gonna give it a little swirl. I'm not gonna do like the whole mixy thing so there's nothing in here. So just swirl it up a little. Open her up. Slow pour her into our cup. Delicious. And then we open our Mexican beer, Bud Light Lime, probably made by Americans. I don't know that for a fact, but I'm gonna say it is. And slow pour that to top this off. I must say she is beautiful. I will say that. All right, so let's give her a little, I'm gonna stir her. Cause I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm gonna try to go around the chili powder. Oh, truly not that bad. Truly, honestly, not that bad. Even chili powder, not that bad. By not that bad, I mean the drink is good. The chili powder is not that bad. This is good. It's light. It's sweet because of the limeade, but it's like salty 
and spicy because the chili powder and the salt and the lime juice. The beer makes it a little more subtle than just tequila because I can't really handle tequila. This is really good. There you have it. That's an easy drink to make for Cinco de Mayo, which is in two Wednesdays. All you need is some limeade, which I didn't even know what that was, honestly, before they sent me this recipe. I had to like search through the store to find it. Comes in two different forms. Well, the forms I found. The juice one by Simply was just like regular juice limeade, and then they sell limeade in like a kind of like a biscuit can. Like, you know how biscuits come in like the tubes? Like a biscuit thing, but it's in the frozen section and it's frozen. And one of them did call for the frozen one, but I was only making one drink, and that you have to open the whole thing and use it, so I wasn't doing that. So, I bought the Simply Limeade Juice. Regular lime juice, a little tequila. Probably get the proper beer and not Bud Light Lime. But I love Bulalas, so I'm going to use it next time too. And yeah, simple, easy drink. You can make a huge batch and then just pour the beer over like individual drinks. Or you could just make separate drinks. It's up to you. So yeah, guys, let me know if you try this drink out for Cinco de Mayo. I hope you have a happy, safe, and healthy week. Um, celebrate something today. Celebrate something every day. And as always, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys here next Thursday because I post a new video every Thursday. Cheers. I've got bad habits I'm trying to fix. You haven't even seen the half of it.